So tax question. If you leave your traditional IRA to a loved one, the new Secure Act gives them 10 years to withdraw all of it and pay taxes on it. So would they benefit more by taking a little bit of it in each of those 10 years, or would they be better off letting it sit there and then like withdrawing one lump sum at the end of the 10 years? I love questions like this because with no details, there's not really a good answer. And, I, you know, it's like a... Like, too open I, sound like, I sound like an attorney over too here. Too many well, variables. It, it depends. Yeah. It depends. It's true, though. I mean, is it $8 million or is it oh, 800000 Yeah. And what's the tax bracket of the person that's inheriting the money? That's a good question. Yeah. What, what's the kid's tax bracket, right? I don't know. Any of these you know, questions. Does it say this in the article? No. So uh, we have people that have, like, we've got a client that's going to, you know, probably inherit somewhere in the neighborhood of two and a half. Three million dollars, depending on what the market does in the next, you know, few years. But it's pretty big, good size IRA, and it's going to be have to be taken out in ten years. So we're estimating two fifty to three hundred grand a year on top of the income that they already have. Mm. They're going to have to withdraw it. Oh, that's ugly. That's real money. That's real taxes, isn't Ooh. it? Yeah, yeah. And so you go if the if the if my client's parents would have converted it to an IRA, they wouldn't be taking anything out. They would be holding it for another 10 years and watch it, that thing grow hopefully, mm. and then be able to take it a lump sum tax free. Hmm. Huge difference. Huge. huge Roth. Difference. Right. A Roth, yeah. right. If you converted it to Roth, but of course nobody wants the pain. Just like we all don't want to eat well. And Meaning don't they exercise. don't want to pay the taxes up front? Is that yeah, what you mean? The, yeah. yeah, the parents don't want to. You know, they, they, they've they known about Roth for 20 plus years, but they didn't want to because their financial advisor didn't motivate them to do it. Their CPA didn't know they even had an IRA really until they turned 70 and started taking it out. And now it's like, oh, it looks like you got an, uh, an IRA. Yeah. So there's no communication. There's no planning. The advisor, you know, has been a good advisor, recommended investing and kind of coached them along to stay in the market in 2008 when everything was falling apart and, you know, all the bumps in the road. That's, I'm not saying that the advisor is not doing anything, right? They're they're giving them guidance and, and keeping them diversified and all of that, right? And they could have, you know, um, ripped them all off, right? But they didn't do that, right? They did a good job in that sense. But there was no plan. There was no tax plan. And now the money's grown, which is a good problem to have. And we're sitting here going, okay, you got $3 million, you know, pretty much what's going to look like. That's a lot of money to take out all every, you know, every year. So you have some options. If it's a huge amount like that, three to, you know, plus million dollars, um, there's tax strategies that you can do. Um, and it's not for everybody. You got to look at the situation and how many people – you know, it, what if they have seven kids and it's split between seven children? Yeah. yeah. I didn't think about that when I asked the question. It's not really. I didn't mean to ask a dumb question, Brian. I'm Did sorry. Did you ever <laughs> ask a dumb question again? <laughs> no, <laughs> but, but I do understand there are a lot of yeah. variables. No, yeah. there is. And and so the reality is it's uh, if my point is that we are helping a lot of our clients, uh, family members right now, you know, they're, they're going, oh, my mom's got some money. Okay. Where she got it? I don't know. Okay. We'll find out. You know, get some statements. We're not talking about managing it for them. They have they have an advisor at Edward Jones or the bank, or and it sounds like they're pretty happy. And you know, the people are 85, 90 years old. They're not <laughs> they're not interested in switching or changing yeah, right. anything, right? They're just and they're and they're content. And I said, and that's this isn't about like, hey, we can do a better job. We just want to help your parents because ultimately, helping your parents helping you. Mm -hmm. You're you're a sole beneficiary of this estate that's worth six million dollars. Let's make sure it passes on to you efficiently since I know that person is not a financial planner, is not a tax planner. In fact, I know the company, it says right at the bottom of their statement. Why don't you read it to me? Go ahead. You, got, you brought that statement in of your mom and dad? Okay, <laughs> read it to me. It says, this, we cannot give tax advice, basically is what it says. Yeah. We do not give tax advice. Okay, so the investments that you have in there are 100% taxable. Any decisions that you do to take that out, creates a taxable event and I, and I could make a horrible mistake, not calling a CPA. All I got to do is call the, the, the person at the bank and take the money out and make a huge Mac tax mistake, but I can't give advice about it. That's not scary at that, all. That, no, that's not scary at all. That's, this is a great system we have here. 
Let's sign. I mean, let's sign us up for. Uh, let's do this. Let's specialize more. You know, you do the investments, we do the taxes. You do the insurance, we do this. You know, state plan. Everybody keeps separate. It's going to be much better for everybody involved. <laughs> right. Said nobody. So- 